Well, hey everybody, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we are making broccoli cheese soup. Cue the music. Well, hey everybody, I am Chef John Polite, and you are watching It's Only Food. If this is your first time watching this channel, or if you just want to learn how to continue to make awesome food, or maybe even learn how to start your own cooking channel right here on YouTube, then do yourself a favor and click on that little subscribe button in the corner, and then hit that little notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, well you clicked on this video to watch me show you how to make some broccoli cheese soup. So let's head into the kitchen and check out what our ingredients are. All right, well the first ingredients we're going to show you are going to be the carrots, onions, and celery, which will be our mirepoix to start off this soup. Then of course we have our broccoli, uh, American cheese, and our chicken base. And then of course our butter and flour to make a roux, and then our milk to give it that creamy texture. All right, I'm gonna chop up our mirepoix here, which is onions, celery, and carrots. Now I've left a link right about here that is a show that I did about mirepoix. So go ahead and check that out if you wanna learn more about mirepoix. But this is a good way to start a soup because you will, as you see, we're going to saute these in butter and let them caramelize just a little bit. And what we're gonna do is basically Sweat these vegetables down to caramelize them and get the sugars to come out, which will add another layer of wonderful flavor to this broccoli cheese soup that we're making today. There is our mirepoix here in the bowl. Got the onions on the bottom, carrots, and celery. We're going to go and get over to the pot where we're going to cook this soup and we're going to start sweating these off. All right, so we've got our butter melting in here. I've added a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in here just because it adds a little bit to the flavor profile. I'm gonna go ahead and put our vegetables right in here and let them start sweating down. Meanwhile, on the other burner over there, I've got this butter, uh, it's a quarter pound, it's a half a pound actually, yeah, I'm sorry, half a pound of butter is melting and that's going to be for our roux to thicken up this soup. So let's put the camera back here and we will let these slowly sweat about this point when it's starting to soften up. Add a little salt and pepper in there. Not a whole lot of salt because we're going to be adding that chicken base. So get that just to bring out some more of the flavor. All right, our vegetables are starting to brown and sweating out the sugar so I am going to leave the heat where it's at on medium high and I'm going to take our broccoli I've got just some frozen broccoli that we had from the store you can use fresh if you want and I'm just gonna put that right on in there and I'm going to add the water you can add or subtract as much water as you want depending on the size of your stock pot or pan that you're using to cook your broccoli. Now I'm just going to let this come to a boil and we're going to let it simmer for a while. All right in regard to the broccoli I have got the frozen broccoli that was bagged up as florets when we bought it. You can use fresh broccoli I highly recommend actually using fresh broccoli, but this will work in a pinch. Don't go out and buy the two pound bag in the store that you think is broccoli florets and all you end up with the stumps and the, and the, the broccoli stems in it. That's not going to make a good soup. Sometimes back in the day in the 80s we used to make the soup with the actual stumps from the broccoli because we wanted to make a stock with it or we made the soup. I have seen cooks in the past take a whole head of broccoli and chop it up to where it's almost dust to make soup. The way I'm showing you eliminates all of that. You don't even have to do that because in the boiling process, you're gonna break down all that broccoli and you'll see when we start whipping it up that it's all broke down and there's no need to really spend a lot of time dicing it up to where it's small pieces because the water and the boiling will do that for you. All right, we're boiling now. I'm just gonna let this go until I see these bigger pieces of broccoli 
we'll pull this out later after it's all broken down and we'll see what it looks like then but all you gotta do is boil it until everything breaks down the uh, broccoli stems are very fibrous so enough enough time in boiling water will break all that down and then we can thicken it up and the soup will be done all right we're about halfway through the boiling process I'm just gonna take a little bit of chicken base I'm just going to add it to it just so we can start getting some of that flavor mixed in with all the other ingredients. All right, well, I'd like to do a shout out right now to a young lady, uh, Mel, over at Mel Simple Meals. She's got a wonderful channel cooking up some really, really awesome food. Go over there and check her out. I'll leave a link down in the description box. So go over there, check her out, subscribe, and share all her shows that she's got up on her channel. Tell them Chef Polite sent you. Thanks a lot. All right, our butter's all melted. I'm just gonna turn the heat down a little bit. And I've got, like I said, a half a pound of butter melted, and I got one cup of flour right here that we're just gonna add right in there. We're gonna mix this up. We're just gonna let this cook. I've also got a show on how to make roux, and I will leave the link to that show right here in a card up there in the corner. Just want to stir this up. It's well incorporated, no lumps. We'll just let this cook and brown up. Soup is still boiling. Looking good. Smells fantastic in here. You now we got our roux is cooking. You can see how it separates off the pan, it does not stick. So I'm going to turn this off. It's cooked all the way through. I don't want to get it too dark because I still want to keep a, brown, a blonde roux for my soup. I don't want to get it darker because the more darker it gets, the more bitterness in the way of flavor profile. We talked about the fibers breaking up in the broccoli stems. So what you want to do now is get a whisk if you've got one and just start kind of, you can break it up by hand in there. If you want to use a, an immersion blender to do it, that's fine too. But I like to have my soups where you can see the ingredients. You can see that carrot, you can see the broccoli, the celery, everything in there. If you use an immersion blender, it just blends everything up so well, it just turns it into a puree. So this isn't quite done. This is breaking up, but I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. We can see the things are breaking up in there. So let it go a little bit longer. Okay, we are pretty much where we want to be with this broccoli. Is I'm just going to continue to beat it up here to break it down. But now I'm going to add, because we're going to let it go a little longer, because we're adding cold milk to it. So I'm going to add about two cups of milk. And we're going to let this bring it back to boil before we add our roux. All right, we've got the milk in there. All the broccoli's pretty much broken down. Our roux is ready to go. So I am going to add just a, about half of that to start with. And we'll see where we are with the degree of thickness that we want to achieve. Also make sure if you're using a Teflon pan, don't use a wire whip to stir it. But if you do, stay off the bottom so you don't scratch all that Teflon into your soup. This Teflon's not in the recipe. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest of this roux. I think that'll be just, just right. Whoops. This is gonna be a nice hearty, thick soup. Lump free, which is always good. All right, now I'm gonna add the cheese. And I'm gonna go one piece at a time. And then three, stir that in. That will melt fast. It's American cheese. You don't wanna throw a cheddar cheese in there because it'll, it's a bit oily and it will string up a little bit on you. American cheese has a good habit of melting effectively evenly so that's what we're using for this 
All right, that is the last of it. I'm going to stir this in, then I'm going to bowl it up. We're going to take some awesome pictures of it for social media, and I'm going to find some groovy music to add into the timeline of this video, and then we're going to come back and we are going to taste this. Don't go away. All right, well this is done. I've got the pictures all taken. And we can see how thick this soup is. You stick that cracker in there and it just stands up on its own. So I'm gonna put the camera up on a tripod and we're gonna give us a close up shot and give it a little taste. All right, we got our soup here. I'll give you a little close up of that. Hopefully we can get that to focus a little better. But I'm gonna give this a try, it's very hot, so. Oh yeah, yeah. That uh, definitely good broccoli flavor to this. The savoriness from that chicken stock really adds another layer of flavor to this. That cheese is really standing out on its own. But the thickness, I mean, it's really good because it's thick. If you like a good hearty soup in the winter time, this is the one to make. Uh, very good flavor, very good, very good. Oh yeah, that's real good. All right, well, thanks so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to go down to my description box and check out all those awesome links that I've got down there. I've got one for my seasoning. I have an Etsy store where I sell all my wonderful gourmet seasonings. And then also make sure you stalk me on social media. All those links are also provided down in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and like this video. Leave all your comments right down below. And then make sure you share this video with everybody, everybody that you know. Take care and we'll see you again right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye bye.